Now, uh, we're going to transition from that into social media. As, as much as we love connecting on social media and taking selfies and all that kind of stuff that we were talking about earlier, it's important to be safe online, and we're going to talk all about that today. Joining us live here in studio is Joe Ferriolo. He is from Frontier Communications. He is the man, and he has some safety tips when it comes to social media. Joe, always great having you here good on to be the back. show every single month. How are things? Good? Things are good. This is, good. Get, this is getting to be a, a, a fun, uh, fun part of my, year, my day. Good, you know? good. Good. Off to a good start. Absolutely. And, and we'll be able to uh, eat more over in the Bender Kitchen later. But first, we want to talk all about social media privacy and security because it's something that we don't always think about, right? We, we, we go on social media to talk with our friends, but sometimes you get those weird friend requests and there's all those privacy settings, the list of... Of, uh, of, of, of all the information is so long, sometimes it gets confusing in there. The, the key with protecting yourself is knowing what you don't know. Uh, first and foremost, you know what your privacy settings are. Mm -hmm. know who's see, look, and you know who you're allowing you know, access to your personal information, your phone number, your address, your location. A lot of times people will post that they're on vacation yeah. You know, and they're, and they're smart, away. Yeah. And that's not a smart idea because then the guys know you're not home. And right. especially if your address is listed on your Facebook page. Okay. So, you know, take the time to understand and, and limit your privacy settings. Know who's asking for you to be friends. If you don't know them, chances are you don't want to. Probably. All right. So, so keep, uh, keep track of those friend requests. Absolutely. Friend requests come in. You know, you, you know, the Russian brides keep, you know, showing up on my Facebook yeah. page. That's that happens you know. to us all the time. You know, <laughs> guys like Joe and I, it's a hot commodity. We, we just have to push them all away. How, how about location services? Because this is something that you turn on your phone through, like, you can, Facebook through, Messenger. Well, you can do it a number of different ways. Number one, your GPS settings are generally turned on. So a lot of the apps that you use will access your location to tell you where you are. Okay. A lot of times when you do your check-ins, they'll ask you, you know, for your Facebook location. Right. So right. just turn off your location. People don't need to know where you are. You know, if you really really want to send out a message from where you, and where you are, make sure that people that know you are seen and not everybody else. One good tip also, say you're out on a walk in a park or something and you take a nice picture, post it afterwards. That way you're back at home safe, safe and sound. That way you kind of protect yourself. It, it, exactly. You know, you don't, like I said, you don't want to let people know where you are and more importantly where you're not. Hmm. That is so. important. That is important. Uh, also, this is pretty exciting because you have a new store opening. Congratulations to that. Tell us Thank all about you. the new store. Well, again, it furthers our commitment to the community and, under, and, and engaging. We are opening a brand new mall store at the Connecticut Post Mall, and our grand opening is actually tomorrow. Wow. So uh, we're excited. We've got live broadcast from KC 101 and, and WPLR. Nice. Uh, we're celebrating the brand new season of, of Black Sails on Stars. Oh, that's great. So, awesome um, show. Folks, you should come on down. We'll get pictures of, taken on the green screen with the, on a pirate ship. Nice. Uh, we've got prize packs we're going to be handing will, out throughout the will, course of the day. Will you be wearing a patch? Arg. Do you, do you have a parrot on your shoulder? A parrot on my shoulder. I, I figured as much. And then also the, uh, the, the uh, it is called... Uh, Frontier Heart Campaign? So yeah, so we're partnered with the American Heart Association for the heart walks coming up around the state of Connecticut. Ours locally is May 7th at, at uh, Savin Rock, so, you know, at Bradley Park. And we would encourage people to come to myfrontierhasheart.com. Okay. Uh, go to the American Heart Association and click on our link. Uh, we have made a commitment of $50,000 to the Heart Association. Wow. And we're it's looking, big. it's fantastic, but we want to do more. So for every customer that signs up through myfrontierhasheart.com, we will donate a dollar uh, to the Heart Association. That's wonderful. They hit a thousand customers. We'll double. We'll make that donation five dollars. Jeez, Joe. So, always doing big things here in the community. We, looking forward we to it. We greatly appreciate it. All the good work. Uh, great guy right here. And of course, for for more general information, all you guys got to do is head on over to myctfrontier.com. Again, great work that Frontier is doing. Hey, more to come here on the show today.